Yeah, today I'm going to talk about Juan Galan. He was from Malaga. He studied with Antonio Lorca Pino. This is a guitar sitting next to me in 1913, Antonio Lorca Ramirez. He died in 1929. He also studied with his father, much like uh, Juan Galan. In 1907, Juan Galan left Malaga and moved to Buenos Aires. I'm going to read, it says, This interview by Carlos J. Vega, the musicologist of the Spanish Luthier Juan Galan is from the issue number 8 of Revista Musical Ilustrada Tadaga magazine from February 1925. Los Artifices de la Guitarra, the craftsman of the guitar. We find him on the Calle Defensa, a few blocks from the Plaza Mayo, but it will be indispensable that we go up long black stairs and that we go through corridors and tortuous passageways, surprising intimacies of many homes without patios to land in the end. In the clear esplanade of a roof over all the ceilings in the rain of the doves and the antennas under the severe custody of the belfry of San Ignacio Church. There we see two pieces of wood. Juan Galan will be on either. Galan is a frank and strong Andalusian in spite of his 48 years, a constructor of guitars with a lot of artistry. Conversely, of almost all of those that begin by art and end up living to its expenses, Galan, who inherited his profession, has done little business and a lot of art. Therefore, he lives with the little doves. He lives with the little doves since his arrival from Spain some 20 years ago. The artistic guitar of today didn't exist in Buenos Aires. Pratt, young and bold, should arrive the next year, January 1st, 1908, with the new goodness of the great maestro of Valencia, Francisco Tarraga. Domingo Pratt also arrived with his Enrique Garcia guitar, which became imported by Romero y Agro Mayor in 1912. Galan attended the movement of renovation and diffusion that continues up to our days, providing the essential element. The demand for instruments every time improved was the index of the artistic progress of the country. The importation of the celebrated guitars, on the other hand, gave to Galan and all the constructors living in the nation an opportunity to improve the confection of their models. They were nourished with the experience of the most famous fabricators of Spain and with, according to their capacity of assimilation, translated it into beautiful instruments of the lessons received. Almost all of the great maestros have passed by this workshop of Galan many aristocratic ladies, serious students, humble players. And for all of them, the constructor has had a concert piece to hold their attention. The minuet and do by soar, ready to demonstrate to those who understand and feel that the guitar is the true indicator for making it so. Galan loves the guitar. It is curious to observe the infantile enthusiasm that he lays on nearly each one of the instruments of quality he constructs. He always expects that the latest will be the superior in beauty and the volume of sound to all the previous ones. In the last three years, Galan has made a series of magnificent instruments which, slowly polished by the time, perhaps, they begin renown and fame to the workshop on the Calle Defensa, a little below heaven. Maybe, if they wait a long time to heaven itself. In guitars, the years make the builder, he tells us, and it is an affirmation somewhat bitter. Juan Galan has read in the disastrous date, uh, Don Quixote and the influence of the man from La Mancha has always been, has been decisive on the Andalusian. Galan doesn't lie, or at least believes that he doesn't lie. He says to every moment in his inestimable truth of every moment, he makes a critique. If his visitors or clients don't play the guitar well, 
he'll tell them goodly with a ten uh, attenuation but he will say to all the unfortunate consequences in many cases now he tells me I changed my mind I am resolved to applaud everyone I will appear in the first row of the Salon La Argentina and unconditionally approve all players that perform there but don't fear the moment has arrived Galan forgets his wise forecasts and says what I consider rude and sincere, more ingenuous than cruel. He believes they lack truths when, in reality, that which is urgency, or urgently needed is lies, friendly lies that smooth out every day. It is necessary to confess that the truths of Galan are almost always very close to the true truth. One Galan lives without much slack, enshrined in his two orphans of a mother. He sees them, he cares for them, he cooks for them, and the innocents are happy. Now we can see them with a beautiful mobile hand, a gift of Los Reyes, playing and jumping on the roof over all the ceilings, close to the little doves. I'm going to show you a catalog from 1926. He moved to Chacabuco 763. So here's a catalog, mentions he makes guitars with a tornabos. The uh, 1913 that I alluded to here has a tornabos in it as well, made in Malaga, Spain. And here we see the uh, price list. He makes seven different models, all the way from 50 pesos. Uh, he makes Algarobo at uh, 100 pesos, Brazilian Rosewood at 120 pesos, 150 pesos, 200 pesos. The 150 pesos model includes a Tornabos. And he continues his list. He has uh, models of exposition up to 1,500 pesos. That would be about the same price of an ornate uh, Enrique Garcia guitar that you could get at. Romero and Fernandez. Here's a picture of Juan Galan playing one of his own guitars in the showroom of his shop. Several players and possibly sons standing behind him. This case over here is very ornate. We see that was a type of case that was used with the most uh, delectable uh, models made by Francisco Simplicio. We find that in the Simplicio catalog that is shown in my book. I have about 500 pages on luthiers. And we see, here's a uh, ad from one of the uh, Revista Musical Illustrada Tadaga magazines. Here's an early ad from 1925. This is from issue number one of La Guitarra, published by Juan Carlos Anito. That's from July of 1923. And this particular ad that I just showed you at the bottom, this is from issue nine of Revista Musical Illustrada Tadaga. Here we see a guitar giveaway. If you subscribe to the magazine Revista Musical Illustrada Tadaga, you can win a free guitar made by uh, Juan Galan. And the guitar would be equal to uh, 400 pesos, so it'd be one of the Brazilian models. These are covers from different epics of the Revista Musical Illustrada Tadaga that he advertised in. Uh, Velasco uh, also advertised uh, in the magazine. 